Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day everyone. I'm Dr. Alia and um, welcome to my class BQS 601 measurement of a construction works that related to external works. So for this week we'll be looking at the first topic which is the surface water drainage. And I'm very sure that all of the students are already familiar with the terminologies, the construction techniques, and also a basic uh, principles on how how to do a taking off for this typical surface water drain. So just a recap. Um, normally it will start with you know uh, construction works, okay, uh, blinding works, and this is um laying the surface water channel and then doing a benchmarking okay and then um, um, the wall and also the sump so for this surface water drainage i am suggesting the students to get your uh, standard method of measurement second edition ready uh, please refer to page 131 section v drainage Please take a quick uh, glance uh, at uh, this section V uh, so that you are familiar with uh, all the terms, requirements and the clauses. So the major items for the surface water drain uh, can be uh, look at your uh, standard method of measurement actually but uh, let's discuss it here okay uh, so the groundwater information um, you can refer to your section v.1 excavating trenches is v Point two, point four. That's right. Bed and covering that will be under V point four. Surface water drain channel will be under V point five point six. Cascade drain that will be V point five point seven. Sum and the light will be V point six. Connecting to mains will be V.7 and text, uh, testing will be V.8. Take a look at these important clauses for a surface water drain. The first one uh, is a ground information. Um, it's actually the assisting condition on site. So reason why we need to explain this in your taking off or in your bills of quantity is that you would like to tell the contractors or anyone who are reading your BQ that this is the current situation on site. Please be aware and be careful and take note because it will might sorry it might affect uh, the construction technique on site and also it might affect the cost uh, to deliver the um, the works so um, among the uh, explanation you can explain about the pre-water contract the tidal effect if you have the trial holes is normally looking at the portfolio, sorry, looking at the profile uh, of the soil, whether it's a weak soil, elastic, uh, elex, um, it's a strong soil, okay, and then uh, looking at the assisting services, okay, any obstructions, um, for, for instance, here we have, um, you know, a telephone wire as an obstruction, electrical cables that need to be relo relocated uh, or need to be avoided. Okay, uh, this is how you enter uh, in a BQ. Okay, this is what we call as the heading. Okay, you need to mention the heading in your BQ and all of this will represent as an item in your BQ. 
okay and b and c work beyond boundary you need to state this clearly reason being because you need to mention to the contractor that this work is beyond the boundary so if you have site here okay and then um apparently you have your um drainage system here okay and then connecting to the mains this is a monsoon drain okay so this item okay this measurement here will be considered as beyond the boundary and uh, you need to be careful and mention this clearly because anything that beyond the site boundary is um, might falls under uh, local authorities or a neighbor land okay if it's a neighbor land so you need to be careful of the trust the trespassing local authority you need to have an approval to do to do the works okay this is how you describe in the bq okay um okay uh, you have a heading here and you have a subheading work beyond boundary uh, it's not necessary to color it with red i color it with red just to highlight that this uh important it's very important to write it down and if you have uh, restricted access uh, you need to mention that in your description okay what will be the unit for this it's an item okay excavating trenches okay as i mentioned previously excavating trenches for surface water drain will be referred to v.2.4 okay i really hope the students you have smm with you now the main principle if you are talking about excavating trenches for surface water drain is that um first thing first is um it has to mention the starting level uh, whether it is a reduce or reduced level or ground level or formation level of course you, you have to mention that and the second important principle is that if your trench width okay this is what we call as a trench width yeah the width is here measure internal diameter of your drain channel okay if it's more than 300 it should be measured in meter and you have to refer to section v but if your trench with more than 300 mm wide it should be measured in meter cube and you should refer to section d so is that clear Please remember this principle. Okay, foundation width. Okay, uh, measure in linear meter. It need to mention the average depth nearest two hundred mm. So and then you need to include the description of v point two five. Okay, in your description as well okay so but if your smm mentioned that should be measured in cubic meter for a trench with that more than 300 mm it should be referred to section d so if you have a section if your excavation is referred to sm uh, referred to section d normally there will be uh, five sorry there, there will be five others uh, other items that need to be considered as well so for instance now you have excavation right if under section d you need to look at excavation in rock 
as well. Secondly, you need to look at disposal of soil and is there any filling and lastly the lastly disposal of water okay so the difference between the previous one is that it will measure in meter you only include item v.2.5 so you don't need to do disposal of water filling sorry sorry disposal of water is a must disposal of excavated material filling uh, it will be measured described in here in the, the, the description so this is the example Okay, this is in meter, right? So the trenches, uh, sorry, the this is for the drain with less than 300 mm. Okay, and then if you realize, there will be, okay, a uh, starting level mentioned here, the average depth, and also all of these are the statement that came from V.2. Point 0.5 okay if it's in a meter you need to have item for filling disposal and extra over in rock and disposal of water great okay if you have excavating trenches below ground water level Okay, it should be measured in linear meter if it's less than 300. So, more than 300, it should be measured in meter cube. Okay, and then don't forget you have to mention that as an extra over. Okay, this is an example excavating trenches um, below ground water level. Okay, this is your groundwater level and this excavation here will be an extra over. Okay, uh, why this groundwater is very important to be mentioned in your description is that when you are doing the excavation at this area, you know what will happen? It will flood your excavated area. So you need to let the contractor knows about that by mentioning that in your taking off and your bills of quantity. Okay, it will be described something like this. Extra over. Okay, the description is still the same, just like just like the previous one, but you have to mention below groundwater level. So if you have excavation uh next to the roadway. You have to mention as well. So in the BQ, it will be excavation next to roadway. Okay, sorry. It's supposed to be roadway. Typo there. Okay, and then um, you need to mention uh, the word next to roadway. Existing building as well, the same principle. Okay, in unstable ground as well. So, unstable ground won't be extra over, but it has to be separated. Okay, so you have to measure this separately. Okay, it's not an extra over, yeah? You have to make a special description for that. Okay, disposal of water. This is a basic uh, principle. Okay, you need to mention this item disposal of water so under this that will be under v.3 yeah? uh, allow for keeping the excavation free from the storm and for collecting water by pumping and otherwise sample in the pq something like this so next is a surface water channel that will be in part two of this lecture